Thousands of leatherback turtles nest on this beach in Matura every year. Now Nature Seekers is hoping to utilize a 1.5 million US dollar donation from the Age of Union to protect these turtles from the impacts of climate change that is ravaging the earth. The Age of Union Alliance is a non-profit organization that supports high-impact projects addressing urgent conservation needs. The group is founded by Dax Da Silva, a tech leader and environmental activist who took an interest in Trinidad's leatherback turtles and nature seekers during a visit earlier this year. When I first saw the leatherback turtle mothers um, just a few months ago when we came, um, I, w I felt like I was witnessing a dinosaur and it's truly special. And I think we just fell in love with... Uh, the, the natural setting in Trinidad and uh, and what we were seeing being done on the ground that was that's been so effective. But why leatherback turtles? Turtles, especially leatherback turtles, are a keystone species. They they indicate the health of the overall ecosystem. Um, if the leatherback turtle is doing well, then we know that the ecosystem at large, uh, all the smaller animals, all the smaller fish, all the the, the plant life. Um, uh, is also um, is also potentially thriving. This attention and donation couldn't come at a better time for Nature Seekers, according to its managing director. Prior to COVID, Nature Seekers was almost eradicated. The only revenue that Nature Seekers derive is from our guided stores. And when the Ministry of Health announced no more beach, no more activities with water or anything like that, that put a nail in our coffin. No way of even generating any income. Now with this major donation, Nature Seekers has a host of projects to kick off or continue. From protecting turtles from dangerous sargassum to building critical infrastructure like proper drainage, Nature Seekers Managing Director Susan Lacken baptiste says they'll be using the 1.5 million US dollar donation over the course of five years to complete their projects in conservation as well as data collection. The money will be used for this monitoring of this beautiful 8.8 kilometer of beach. We have to have a lot of human resource to be able to collect the data. Laka and Baptiste says data collection is at the forefront of their projects in order to have international compliance. They'll be looking at measuring the population size, tagging turtles to understand their migratory routes, and... For the first time, we will actually be doing a GPS mapping of the area. We will have drones that will actually be mapping the beaches so we can understand where erosion is occurring, where we have stable beach area so we can actually remove nests that are threatened to areas that are safe. In addition, heavy rainfall and poor drainage pose imminent threats to turtle nesting sites on Matura Beach and they'll be using nesting boxes to safely relocate the turtles as only one out of every thousand hatchlings reach maturity to reproduce. This funding and Nature Seeker's efforts have given these ancient giants, with species dating back 100 million years to the age of dinosaurs, a new lease on life, at least for the next five years. Kalein Hussein, CNC3 News.